Good morning and welcome to my morning routine video. I've wanted to make this video for quite some time and today I finally was organized enough to do it. So I start my morning off with no alarm and I've had no alarm now for 12 years and I think it's one of the most luxurious parts of my life for sure. I work for myself and I make sure all of my meetings are in the afternoon so I don't have to rush in the morning. I love taking my time in the morning and waking up naturally. And some people might think that waking up naturally means that you're going to wake, sleep all day, but that's not true at all. In fact, I found that I actually sleep less hours, but I have a lot more energy. So I'm usually waking up around 7 or 8 a.m. So it's not, not too late at all. And I feel full of energy. I used to hate waking up with an, with an alarm kind of disrupting me from my from my lovely dreams that I used to, didn't used to remember, but more about that in a minute. And then I always make my bed, which is interesting. So I never used to make my bed before, but now that I'm in a new apartment, I'm taking more pride in my environment. And I absolutely love my new bed. I got one of the best beds I could find and um, it has a mattress topper. It's, it has five pillows. I have two pillows under my knees or legs just to kind of have them raised and then one under my head and then one each side to snuggle. So it's incredible. And I put everything back in place in the morning. And my sheets are from Sylvon, which are amazing. They're actually made from silver, which sounds very intriguing, but I'll make another video about that one day. And it's actually woven with natural silver, and, and that means it's clinically proven to eliminate acne-causing ba bacteria. Fortunately, I don't really have acne, but it's a great, um, they feel absolutely amazing. Then I go to my office, and I sit down in my office, and I, I'm, I've started to keep a dream journal, and I started doing that just a few days ago, actually, because for the last two months, ever since I was in hospital with COVID and pneumonia, which you may know if you follow me on Instagram, I've had some, I've been having some very, very, very vivid dreams. And I've been wondering what's the message behind these dreams. So now I've started to actually write them down and also uh, not just write down what I dreamt, but also the emotions I felt during the dream, which I'm finding to be quite interesting. And then what I do is I write um, so my gratitude journal. So I write down three things that I'm grateful for. I used to do that at nighttime uh, last year, but this year I'm doing it in the morning instead. And then I write down briefly just three of my daily goals, three things that I would like to accomplish that day. And then later on in the evening, I will add to that and I'll write three self-love things that I did in the day. And also I will hopefully tick off all of those daily goals. Then I go to my kitchen and I make my breakfast. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I'm very passionate about my orgasmic breakfasts. I'm whole foods, plant-based, and now I'm completely organic. And I really take pride in um, making a healthy and filling breakfast. So today I had a green juice, cold pressed green juice that comprised celery, kale, courgette or zucchini, apple, lime, turmeric and ginger and it tasted absolutely amazing. And then I made some, chopped up some strawberries, I added some coconut yogurt and hemp seeds and then I had some crackers with beetroot, beetroot hummus, sprouted lentils and pumpkin seeds and sun-dried tomatoes. I always have sun-dried tomatoes in my breakfast because I think it just adds so much flavour to my orgasmic canapes. And then I add some dried apricots. Some days I also have sultanas or raisins just to get that those the dry fruits in there and also just for iron. And then I finish off with some loose leaf green tea. And today it was uh, gunpowder. Well, I don't always have green tea. I have a collection of loose leaf organic teas and it just depends on my mood really. But today I felt like a bit of a boost and I felt like having some green tea. And then I set up my table in my lounge on a, sometimes I take a, a picture of my breakfast with a sex toy and that's a, with the hashtag myorgasmicbreakfast on Instagram if you want to check that out. And people ask me, do you use the toy before or after your breakfast? But, but the answer is neither. I just don't um, put it there as a, as a decoration really. Because I, I want to kind of 
bring two taboos together, which is um, sex toys, which people can sometimes feel uncomfortable about, and also vegan breakfast. Because sometimes when you say the word vegan, people think, oh no, oh no. Um, people just kind of feel offended. And I don't know why, but I, I just want to promote two um, taboo topics, but in a really fun and inspiring and positive way. And that's what I hope to achieve with that. And also I would like to help people to, well, inspire them to have better breakfasts really, because so many people just have coffee and and toast or maybe just coffee, which I don't think is a good thing, good way to start the day at all. Um, so I would like people to make pay more attention to breakfast because as as they say, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And then what do I do? I always have my book ready on my on my table because I spend when I'm actually sipping my tea, that's when I read my book. And right now I am reading Sexual Sorcery, dun, dun, dun. A Complete Guide to Sex Magic. And that's written by Jason Augustus Newcomb or Newcomb, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And I'm very interested in the topic of sex magic at the moment, which sounds very kind of dark and scary and woo woo to most people, but I think it's divine and beautiful. So I've been using my sexual energy now to, to manifest for, for many years and I'm becoming, I'm, I'm very curious about this subject. Well, I, I kind of found out about it organically and then I discovered that it, it's actually been around for many, many years. I'm just discovering different methodologies behind it, different techniques, and I'm, I find it absolutely fascinating. And then after that, I meditate for a few minutes, maybe not, not very long, maybe five, 10 minutes just to kind of focus my energy and thoughts on my, on the day ahead and everything I would like to achieve that day, especially, um, yeah, just to get the mindset prepared and that's it. And that was my morning routine. And most of my mornings start like this. And if you have any tips that you would like to share or any suggestions to incorporate in my morning routine, or maybe you'd like to share yours, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you have any requests for new videos, don't hesitate to contact me at venus at venusohara.org or on Instagram at venusohara. Thanks for watching.